Hola, thanks for joining my hike. I'm Kevin, and I read something very interesting this morning. I read that the place that has the longest life expectancy is Hong Kong. I think it's like 83.6 years. And here in the US, it's only 76 years. So I decided that two months short of my 76th birthday, I'm moving to Hong Kong. That's usually in your head. All right, we're gonna have a great hike today. So take your protein pills, strap on your helmet, and let's have at it. Oh man, I'm really excited about this hike today because my hiking partner is not only very talented, but she's also very interesting. We all know her as April Ludgate from Parks and Rec. That was a great character. She's done tons of films too, Funny People, The Little Hours, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, and one of my favorites, Life After Beth. Oh, I love that movie, it's so up my alley. And she currently has an FX drama on now called Legion. And she has a new film coming out called Child's Play. She's busy. That's right, today we're hiking with the very entertaining, the very unpredictable, Aubrey Plaza. You were gonna bring your dog with you today, but you decided not to. That's right. At the last minute. That's right. Was there an argument this morning with your dog? No, she just had to go to work early and I didn't wanna get into it with her. Your dog had to go to work? <coughs> yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> You showed up with two drinks in your hand. I know. One was it looked like a smoothie. And the other is a, uh, is that grande or vente? No, this is just a regular organic black coffee. Wow, do they sell those still? Old style. Oh yeah. How do you take your coffee? Uh, it depends on. Anima. Um, yeah. Straight up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how it's gonna be. All right. Good to know. God, it's so green here. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Your dog would have loved this. What's your dog's name? Frankie. I love it when people give their dogs a person name. Her name is Frances. She's named after Judy Garland. Well, if she's named after Judy Garland, why isn't her name Judy? Because Judy Garland's real name was Frances Ethel Gunn. Everybody no way. knows that. Do you know what Lauren Bacall's nickname was? No. Betty. Really? Yeah. They were like really good friends, the two of them. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, verify that. Mm. Want to head back? Yeah. Okay. Oh god, there's people coming. Um, They're everywhere. Have you discovered a new app lately on your phone? No. Uh, god, I hate my phone. Do you? I hate my phone. I apps. would think you would be on your phone a lot. <laughs> no. Why? You just seem like that kind of person. Why? No, I don't like technology. I'd want to throw my phone out the window. Why don't you? Um, Why don't we do it on this hike? It'll be an official. I would, I would. I'll do whatever you say. I don't care anymore. I just don't care about anything. Sorry, she's recovering. So you're out late last night? Um, not that late, but I had the Parks and Rec reunion last night. Oh, at the Paley the Fest, right? Yeah, the 10 year reunion. How was that? How was that? Um, morning. Morning. <coughs> Jeez. You want to you know, cough something up? Sorry. It I seems mean, like you need to really hawk something out. I really do, yeah. actually. It was behind. a long night. Uh, are we going really slow or really fast? Uh, it was 10 years since the premiere, since the very first premiere of the show, so. Wow, it's been that long? It has been that long. Isn't that crazy? April Ludgate. That's right. You had fun on that show. It yeah, didn't look it like right. it, because your character was always kind of, you know, in the doldrums and frustrated. And you're a great eye roller. Nobody eye rolls eyes like you. Thanks, Kev. You're welcome. I always say that when your name comes up, I say, whoa. When it comes to eye rolling, Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. How nice is those palm trees look up there? Wouldn't you like to have like a nice craftsman house up there with a wraparound porch? I would, but I really don't like palm trees, honestly. They creep me out. You can cut them down. Okay. You could build the house out of the palm trees. That's fine. Are you, are you a group person? Do you like to join groups? No. Do you belong to any groups right now? Well, what do you mean? Like, self-help groups? Ski club, you know. Any. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Book club? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. You like, you're more of a loner. I think so. But I am, I could get sucked into a good cult. I 
loved Life After Beth. Did you have fun doing that? That was a lot of work, wasn't it? That's how I watch movies now. I look at them, and I look at what the actor's doing, and I go, jeez, that looks like a lot of work. Yeah, it was. I mean, when you strapped yourself to that stove. Yeah, there was an oven strapped to my back. But I don't care. I'm just crazy when I'm shooting. I'll just do anything. I'll, obviously. I'll just hurt myself. Obviously you did. I'll fling myself over a cliff. I don't care. Because coming off of Parks and Rec, where you weren't doing a lot of physical stuff. No, I This just, was like, <laughs> you know. I really needed to let loose physically. I love scary movies that are funny. Me you too. Know, it wasn't even that scary, but it was it was funny with the pretense of being a horror movie. You know? Yeah, me too. <sighs> How are you feeling? Oh, you were out late last night? Well, it wasn't that late, but... What's late for you? Late enough. Are we going into the woods? Um, late for me is like, I don't know, 4, 3.30. Oh, <laughs> you know what time I went to bed last night? What time? About 9.30. That sounds so nice. With not one drop of alcohol in me. That sounds great. But about six pounds of sugar. Oof. Was it fun to see everybody last night? So fun. Do you see them anyway when you're walking around? Not really. Everyone's so busy. But we have a text chain that we all yeah. update. But... Can I get on that? Sure. Do you think Parks and Rec will come back? Was there talk about that? No. It needs to be more than 10 years. It needs to be like 50 years. I think it needs to be never. Come on. That shit is so right. weird. It's creepy. What do you watch on TV? Honestly. No, no, lie to me. <laughs> I really don't watch that much stuff. I don't even have a... Well, you hawk up that phone, please? Did you want me to hold this? No. I can't tell what you wanted me to do with this phone. I, I like just want to get rid of these people. You are so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the hell happened with Chris Pratt? What how do you did, mean? How did he get in such good shape? Because he was a chubby guy on Parks and Rec, right? I know, wasn't he so cute? What happened? What all do you of mean? A sudden, like, what is he, like, became a gym rat all of a sudden? Well, you know, that's what happens when you get the, you know, the Marvel phone call. They, they go, they watch you in an action you know, movie. 9 a.m. Would you get in shape like that? iron. I'll do anything. I don't care. But, you know, it's not like something I need or want. You, Kathleen! Kathleen, where are you? Oh, did I say too much? Come on. Should I? You, you are always second guessing yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't have that trust in I'm things. Gonna, I'm Why gonna is that? myself over this cliff. Should I jump on your back? Would that be make this easier? For you, maybe. Uh. What are you good at? Aside from acting. It would be funny. Um, well, I'm surprisingly athletic. Are you? I know that about me. What's your sport? Well, I play, I grew up playing softball. I was on a traveling team. I was really good. Those are the best teams to get on because you get to travel. That's right. Where did you go? Some nice places? Europe? No, like Oklahoma oh. City. No one cares about that. But um, <laughs> I was 13. Um, what position? Well, I was usually... Like shortstop, third base. I have a good arm. But when I was in high school and I was playing, our pitcher was so good that nobody could nobody could really catch the ball because she was so fast. It was fast pitch. So yeah. I became a catcher, even though I'm not like built to be a catcher. Can you squat all the time like that? Oh, yeah. And I like to trash talk because I'm like behind the gear. So it oh, makes you feel, you. yeah, it makes you feel safe. You can say whatever you want, you yeah. know. Um, I like the psychological kind of element of sports. I love that too, man. I love getting under their skin. Me too. You know? Yeah, the only time I was ever in a physical fight was after a basketball game. I got really? punched. And did you get hit in the face? No, she clocked me right here, like. Wow, there. you know all the fighting terms, clock. She, yeah, she just clocked me. All girls, Catholic <laughs> conference. Shit you went gets to a crazy. All girls Catholic school. My whole life. I never had a. I never had a boy in my class until college. And that, did that make you more horny as you were growing up? I mean, I think boys just became like, they weren't normal, you know? To me, it was like, it ups the level of, like if you're around one, you're like, it's not like, oh, this is casual. It's like, yeah. you're either gonna enter me or, <laughs> or uh, you know what I mean? Or I'm gonna yell rape. <laughs> Something. <laughs>
for me, that's how it was. It was like all or nothing. Like, it wasn't gotcha. like, oh. But, you know, I was also involved in the community theater, so. Oh, there's a group you belong to. Yeah, I was in, definitely involved in that group. Yeah. Are you the jealous type? Oh, yeah. You are? I can't help it. How, doesn't that, like, kill your relationship? Yeah. No, I'd say I'm, like, a healthy amount of jealous. You are like a healthy jealous. I'm thing. a healthy jealous. Where the I other person feels like, oh, they love me. Of course. They're just worried about me. Just a little bit is kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little, just a little poison. It's not a lot. Not enough to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest part of your day? <sighs> I don't know. Putting myself to sleep. Really? What do you use? Anything I can get my hands on. Yeah? You usually have a glass of wine before you go to bed? No, I'm not allowed to drink that anymore. All right. Parents won't allow it. <clears throat> you know, I've been given an ultimatum. Just gotta stick to the plan. And Aubrey was her name. Not so like her name. But just the same. Is that what you name that thing? Yes. No, you yes. Were you? Yes. That song? Yes. Isn't it such a sad song to be it named was. after? I know, it's so creepy. Why? Why did you do this did to me, you Mommy? Grow up. Mommy? <laughs> did your parents listen to a lot of old school music when you were growing up? Uh, my parents were very young. My, but they, they got pregnant with, with me when they were 20. Wow, so yeah. you were an accident. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the longest you've gone without shaving your legs? Ooh, I'd say probably a month and a half, maybe. I did a movie. Really? Where, yeah, I did a movie where I played a nun in the uh, 15th century, and I just thought, you know, those nuns weren't shaving. You don't think they shaved the legs? Fuck no. What if they had a slit up their gown? Mm, what? Is it easy to live with somebody for you? Yeah, pretty much. I'm one of You're those. You're pretty flexible, right? I'm one of those. People. That's <laughs> <laughs> your vocabulary. I don't know. You know, I had a stroke when I was 20, and ever since then, my words just come to me different. I think people think I'm deliberately, um, you know, pausing, but really it's just my brain trying to remember. It's the aftermath connection. of the stroke? What happened? Right. How can you have a stroke when you're. How old were you? I was 20. You were 20? Yeah. Jeez. What was, was did that come out of nowhere? Out of nowhere, mid sentence. I was going to have lunch with my friend in uh, Queens. Walked in, didn't even have my coat off. Was talking about a Hillary Duff concert that I had taken my sister to the night before. What time of the year was it? July. Okay, that's not a good time for strokes. No. Oh, Mid sentence. Traffic. Mid sentence. Do you remember? Uh, so what? What do you? What was the next thing you remembered? Well, the I remember the whole thing. That's a weird thing about having a stroke. If you're conscious, your mind is still aware of what's happening, which is why it's so terrifying, because you're like watching it happen in slow motion. And what happened was I stopped talking because the blood clot was in my language center. So I had expressive aphasia, which means that if you're talking to me, I can understand what you're saying and I can know how to respond inside, but I can't get it out using language or writing, which was the weirdest part, when they gave me a pen and said to write something down. How long did that last? A couple days. But I'm fine now. Do you I ever worry home. about getting another stroke? Well, yeah, I worry every day. I worry about it. I mean, it could happen at any moment. I had an, I had a mini one a couple of years later when I was living out here. Wow. When I was uh, working on Parks and Rec. How in did the that? Middle of rehearsal. What, what, same thing. You couldn't. You stopped. Well, I was. You know when they rehearse right before you shoot or whatever. Like I never block... rehearse. I never rehearse. <laughs> like a blocking rehearsal, Kevin. Okay. Um, well, for the camera, can I hold not on for you. you. Yeah. I haven't worked out today, so... Alright, we need to engage our core going down. Um, so you had one when you were on Parks and Rec? It was a mini... T it was called a mini stroke. It's a TIA. TIA. Yeah. Where I was looking at my script, yeah. and there were all these people looking at me, and then all of a sudden I just got really confused. I couldn't understand what I was looking at. Wow. And I had a tiny little um, blood clot in one of the veins in the back of my neck. So Do you I take a blood thinner? Yes. Well, I should. I'm supposed to be on baby aspirin every day. My shoulders are shot. I, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do this. You might be my last hike. I can hold it. I can. You want me to get on your back? Yeah, you want to hold it? Okay. I can hold it. You see where it's facing right there? No. Just like that. All right, fine. Like this? Yeah. Boy, it's nice to have somebody else hold the camera for a change. <sighs> Men. Ah! Oh, God! Ah! What's it doing? God! Ah! Yeah, I do. I love coffee. I go to 
fills. Oh. I get filled coffee. I bring it home. I grind it. Oh. Most people have a grinder. Oh. I put it between the cheeks of my butt. I oh. grind it. And then I put it into the drip. Oh, oh God, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. You all right? Mm. This is the sloppiest camera work I've ever seen. It's called Cinema Verte. Ever heard of Cassavetes? Camera yes. work doesn't matter. It's Who's all about the actors. your favorite director? Don't, don't you dare say the guy you're living with. Elaine May. Elaine May? <laughs> yeah. Did you... What? Do we have the same favorite movie? Maybe. The Heartbreak Kid? Yeah, of course. With Charles Grodin? Yeah, of course. Wait a minute, what did Favorite you Favorite all-time movie? Were you so angry when they tried to remake yes! it? Yes! God, I was so angry! I wrote angry. letters to SAG! <gasps> Shut up! I wrote letters to SAG and to the president. Oh, oh man, so I was So sacrilegious. Can you, you believe can't. that? You cannot remake that movie! Like, Are you insane? Oh my Jeez, God. That was a great movie. I love that movie. I just love everything that she did. Do you like nuts in May? I'll, I'll eat nuts any time of the year. No. Sometimes I'll eat them in July. It's a movie. Oh, is it? Did you meditate? No, but I know I should. All right, Why? Why should you? Because I have to clear my brain. But I need... hiking is kind of like meditating, I think. Well, I've been trying to bake. That's kind of like meditating. Do you smoke pot? Oh, yes. A lot of pot? Oh, yes. Do you face? Oh, I'll, any form. Give so it to me now. So you do everything. Well, I believe in um, uh, plants healing, the plant he healing nature of plants. Whoa. <laughs> you make coffee at home? Yes, I'm very good at making coffee. And how do you make oh, it? French press. French press? But sometimes if I'm, if I really, if I really haven't been working and I'm getting into like a, I'm a woman that is at home person, then sometimes I'll do like a drip coffee. Ritual, yeah. uh -huh. if I have really good beans. Sure. Um, but, but then I become a crack addict, and that's all I think about. And I just can't. The minute I wake up, I'm like, God, I'm like, my God. <laughs> this whole movie's coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs>And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the hiking and chatting styles of Aubrey Plaza. So fun. So funny. Must have been a fun reunion the other night for Parks and Rec. 4,000 people. That's about, um, that's about the size of my audience I have when I'm filming this show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's about 4,000 of us here. And all, not all together in one spot. They're spread out over the trails and stuff, but still. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll catch you next time. Happy trails. What makes you anxious? Life. Things come at me out of nowhere.